Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. An object is thrown vertically up at a speed of 20 meters per second at point A. Assume no air resistance. Assume vertical motion. Assume acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. And because we are learning the material, let's keep it at negative 10 meters per second per second. Assume constant acceleration. You're very close to the surface of the Earth. Choose origin at point A. Horizontal motion, positive axis to the right, negative axis to the left. Vertical motion, positive y is vertically up, negative y is vertically down. Choose origin at point A. Question number one. If the figures are drawn to scale, which figure best describes the motion of the object at intervals of one second? Why? If you choose figure A, mark A. If you choose figure B, mark B. Question number two. What is the vertical velocity at the start at point A? Is it positive 20 meters per second or is it negative 20 meters per second? Question number three. A velocity vector has magnitude and direction. When can we have a change in velocity? Warning, more than one answer might be true. A, when magnitude changes. B, when direction changes. C, when there is a change in magnitude and direction. D, all of the above. Question number four. From A to B, as in boy, what is the direction of the velocity vector? Is it positive y or is it negative y? Question number five, from A to B as in boy, what is the direction of the acceleration vector? Is it along positive y or negative y? Question number six, from A to B, are velocity and acceleration vectors in the same direction? A, yes, B, no. Question number seven, what is the vertical velocity at point B as in boy at time t is equal to one second in meters per second. Is it zero, negative 20, positive 20, negative 10, positive 10? Question number eight. What is the vertical velocity at point C at time t is equal to two seconds in meters per second? Zero, negative 20, positive 20, negative 10, positive 10. Question number nine. What is the vertical velocity at point D as in David at time t is equal to three seconds in meters per second? Zero, negative 20, positive 20, negative 10, positive 10. Question number 10. What is the vertical velocity at point E at time t is equal to four seconds in meters per second? Zero, Negative 20, positive 20, negative 10, positive 10. Question number 11. If velocity and acceleration vectors are in opposite directions, can we then conclude that the object is slowing down? A, yes. B, no. Question number 12. If velocity and acceleration vectors are in the same direction, can we then conclude that the object is speeding up? A, yes, B, no. Question number 13. Are velocity and acceleration vectors in the same direction from C to D as in David? A, yes, B, no. Question number 14. What is the average velocity between points A and B as in boy in meters per second? Is it 0, 5, 10, 15, or 20? Question number 15. What is the average velocity between points B as in boy and C in meters per second? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. 
Question number 16. What is the average velocity between points A and C in meters per second? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 17. What is the average velocity between points A and D as in David in meters per second? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 18. What is the average velocity between points A and E in meters per second? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 19. What is the vertical displacement between points A and B as in boy in meters? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 20. What is the vertical displacement between points B as in boy and C in meters? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. 21. What is the vertical displacement between points A and C in meters? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 22. What is the vertical displacement between points A and D as in David in meters? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 23. What is the vertical displacement between points A and E in meters? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Question number 24. Choose A for true or B for false. The distance traveled from A to B as in boy is 15 meters. Question number 25. Mark A for true, B for false. The displacement from A to B, as in boy, is positive 15 meters. Question number 26. The distance traveled from B, as in boy, to C is 5 meters. Question number 27. Mark A for true or B for false. The displacement from B, as in boy, to C is positive 5 meters. Question number 28. Choose A for true, B for false. The distance traveled from A to C is 20 meters. Question number 29. Choose A for true or B for false. The displacement from A to C is positive 20 meters. Question number 30. A for true or B for false. The distance traveled from A to D as in David is 25 meters. 31. The displacement from a to D as in David is positive 15 meters. Mark A for true, B for false. 32. The distance traveled from A to E is 40 meters. Mark A for true, B for false. Question number 33. Choose A for true, B for false. The displacement from A to E is 0 meters. Question number 34. Choose A for true, B for false. The displacement from C to D is negative 5 meters. Question number 35. Choose A for true or B for false. The displacement from C to E is negative 15 meters. Thank you to all our teachers and students. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.